okay that is if you see the two nasal pits okay so these two nasal pits what happens they will actually deepen inside and they will actually uh, what do you call widen to form the nasal cavity now from these nasal primitive nasal sac like cavity you see extensions which is going posteriorly and laterally and they mainly form the paranasal air sinuses so you can consider them as the extensions from the nasal cavity itself so all the sinuses are actually present during birth itself but they are very rudimentary that means they are not well developed they are at a very primitive stage their sizes are very minimal except the frontal sinus which appears only after 2 to 3 years of the age okay and all the sinuses are actually paired we have a pair of frontal sinus maxillary sinus sphenoidal air sinus and we have ethmoidal sinus on either side but again each sinus is divided into three groups with respect to ethmoidal sinus alone so that is they are divided into anterior middle and posterior group of sinuses so with a short introduction we will actually pass on to the frontal sinus so the frontal sinus the name itself is because it is present within the frontal bone and it is the second largest of all the sinus okay so it is situated in the squamous part of the temporal bone okay sorry squamous part of the frontal bone so frontal bone has got a squamous part and this is you are able to see the orbital part of the frontal bone so mainly these sinuses how actually even though they are extensions of the uh, nasal cavity i told you they expand at the expense of the diplo of the skull because you know most of the bones of the skull they have an inner table and outer table and between you have the diploic tissue so they will be drained by the diploic veins so they actually uh, go and occupy this diploic part of the bones so roughly they are triangular and present at the medial end of the superciliary arch okay so they are present behind the medial end of the superciliary arch and as i told you they are roughly triangular and their dimensions are uh, mainly you can see here it is extending superiorly and also it is extending posteriorly into the orbit okay mainly into the roof of the orbit okay so that is the frontal sinus roughly triangular and asymmetrical okay they are both the sinuses on either side they don't have a definitive shape and size okay and as i told you it extends superiorly into the skull itself and posteriorly into the roof of the orbit and your obliquity of your forehead so your forehead as an oblique uh, direction that is mainly because of this frontal sinus okay so it is somewhat 3 cm